Hi guys, this is Vineet and in this video we will discuss about MS TTC and this will be an introduction video. Uh, let me take you to my notes. So what is MS TTC? Basically it's a Microsoft Distributed Transactions Coordinator. The role of this component is to coordinate the transaction uh, between different servers. So it is basically a transaction manager which makes it possible for the client applications to work with multiple sources of data in a single transaction. So multiple sources can be multiple databases on the multiple servers or maybe it's uh, multiple databases on the same server as well. So when we have data on the databases on the multiple servers, uh, this component Microsoft Distributed Transaction Coordinator can be used to coordinate the transaction right uh, in just a single transaction so it basically coordinates the management of transactions and now let's talk about a situation where one particular transaction is spanning multiple server which means we are writing a query which is accessing data from multiple databases on multiple servers so when the transaction spans the multiple servers uh, it is the responsibility of those servers involved in the transaction to coordinate the management of transaction using ms dtc so those server get uh, will get in touch with microsoft dtc component to coordinate the transaction now let's talk about other situation where the transaction span multiple databases but here multiple databases are present on the single server so in that case the SQL server manages the transaction internally and SQL server can call MS TTC directly to start an explicit distributed transaction alright other ways to start the distributed transactions are as below so whenever we call stored procedure on a different server or on remote server it automatically SQL makes contacts to MS DTC if we are calling any stored procedure on the remote servers. Another scenario can be when we are updating data on multiple OLEDB data sources uh, spanning multiple servers. The third situation can be when, when we are mentioning remote servers in a transaction. So in those cases the ML SQL server will get in touch with MS DTC to start an explicit distributed transaction. So in case we are using the distributed transactions, we should have MS DTC running on the server. And all instances of SQL Server running computers use the same transaction coordinator or MS DTC. Let me type that for you. All right, so regardless of how many number of instances of SQL Server are we running on a computer, we just need only one MS DTC. So for example, if I now uh, we are going through this demo where, where we will try to locate where is this MS DTC service. Uh, one way is this, I'm giving you the shorter way. So the shorter way is to start the services window from services.msc, you can open it directly. And here is a service called distributed transaction coordinator. So if we are running any transactions on this server that will span multiple other servers as well so this component must be running on this server so right now I see it's in manual state but in running status so th this is the component distributed transaction coordinator which coordinates the transaction between different servers alright guys so, uh, we are done with this video I uh, thank you so much for your time please uh, do like this video and subscribe to my channel uh, to get more updates thank you